Imagine taking a vitamin you thought was safe, only to discover it's slowly destroying your kidneys. Today, we're diving into the shocking story of how a common supplement turned dangerous. What seemed like a healthy choice turned into a nightmare for one woman, who suffered severe consequences within just two months. Stay tuned as we unravel the details of this alarming incident, shedding light on the risks that can lurk in even the most mundane aspects of our daily health routines. In today's episode, we explore the distressing case of a woman who suffered significant kidney damage within just two months from taking a seemingly harmless vitamin supplement. Believing she was enhancing her health, she began a regimen that included a popular over-the-counter vitamin, widely recognized for its benefits. Unbeknownst to her, this decision would lead to severe health repercussions, challenging her beliefs about the safety of common supplements and the oversight sometimes needed when incorporating them into daily life. As we delve into her story, we'll uncover how a routine health practice went gravely wrong. Please note that the following account is based on a true story. It's important to remember that while we share this information for educational and awareness purposes, medical advice should always be sought from professional healthcare providers. What you hear today should not be used as a substitute for professional medical consultation. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting or changing any medication or supplement regimen. The subject of our story is a middle-aged woman who was in relatively good health before the incident. Like many, she was proactive about maintaining her well-being, regularly exercising, and keeping a balanced diet. However, concerned about keeping her energy levels up and supporting her immune system, especially during the stressful times of a global health crisis, she decided to start taking a vitamin supplement. It was a common choice among her peers. One reputed to offer benefits like enhanced energy and better overall health. This decision, made with the best intentions for her health and well-being, unfortunately led to unforeseen consequences. The vitamin supplement she took was vitamin D, a choice influenced by its well-known benefits and positive public perception. Vitamin D is commonly known to support bone health, aid in calcium absorption, and contribute to immune function. Given its widespread recommendation, particularly for individuals who may not get sufficient exposure to sunlight, it's often viewed as a crucial supplement for maintaining overall health. The general consensus is that vitamin D is safe and essential, especially in areas with long winters or for people with limited outdoor activities. This belief combined with the supposed safety of over-the-counter vitamins, made her feel confident in her decision to incorporate this supplement into her daily routine. Initially, the symptoms that appeared were subtle and easily dismissed as routine or unrelated to her new supplement regimen. She began experiencing a general sense of fatigue, not the kind she could pinpoint to any rigorous activity or sleepless nights, but rather a pervasive tiredness that lingered throughout the day. Additionally, she noticed slight, unexplained pains that would come and go without any apparent trigger. These discomforts were mild enough not to raise immediate alarms, considering them perhaps signs of stress or minor physical exertion. It was these innocuous beginnings that masked the seriousness of what was unfolding internally, leading her to continue her daily dose of vitamins without suspicion. As days turned into weeks, the initially mild symptoms began to intensify and multiply, signaling that something more serious might be at play. The fatigue that once seemed manageable grew into an overwhelming exhaustion that hindered her daily activities. She found herself needing to rest more frequently, with her energy levels drastically reduced, affecting her ability to work and engage in social activities. Concurrently, the slight pains she had experienced became more pronounced and persistent, particularly in her back and sides, which she initially attributed to possible muscle strains, but grew increasingly concerned as they did not subside with rest or over-the-counter pain relievers. These escalating symptoms eventually became too significant to overlook, prompting her first of several visits to her doctor in search of answers. Concerned by the worsening symptoms, 
she initiated a series of visits to her primary care physician. At the first appointment, her doctor conducted a general examination and attributed the fatigue and pain to possible stress or minor physical conditions, suggesting rest and hydration. However, as her condition did not improve, she returned for further evaluation. During subsequent visits, her doctor ordered routine blood tests and checked for common causes of fatigue and pain, such as thyroid issues and anemia. But these tests came back normal, deepening the mystery. With her symptoms persisting and no clear diagnosis in sight, her doctor recommended a consultation with a nephrologist to explore the possibility of a renal problem. Given her specific complaints of back pain and fatigue, which can be subtle signs of kidney issues. This direction was a turning point, shifting the focus towards a more specialized investigation of her kidney health. The sequence of medical appointments reflected a growing concern and a widening investigation, as initial hypotheses were ruled out and her condition remained undiagnosed, leading to more targeted inquiries into the less obvious potential causes. Once referred to a nephrologist, more specific and comprehensive tests were conducted to assess her kidney function. These included blood tests to measure her levels of creatinine and blood urea nitrogen, BUN, which are indicators of kidney efficiency and function. Additionally, a urine test was performed to check for abnormal protein levels and other substances that kidneys typically filter out which can indicate damage or disease. The results from these tests began to paint a concerning picture. Her creatinine and bun levels were elevated well beyond the normal ranges, suggesting that her kidneys were not effectively filtering waste from her blood. The urine tests also revealed the presence of proteinuria, an excess of protein in the urine, which is another hallmark of kidney damage. These findings were alarming and clearly indicated that her kidney function was compromised, necessitating further investigations and immediate medical intervention to understand the extent of the damage and the underlying causes. The link between her kidney issues and the vitamin intake emerged during a detailed review of her lifestyle and supplement usage with the nephrologist. As part of the diagnostic process, she provided a comprehensive list of all medications and supplements she was taking. When the nephrologist noticed the high dosage of vitamin D on her list, significantly above the recommended daily amount, he raised concerns about potential vitamin toxicity. Vitamin D, while beneficial in regulated doses, can lead to toxicity if consumed in large quantities over an extended period. This condition, known as hypervitaminosis D, can cause an accumulation of calcium in the blood, hypercalcemia, which can, in turn, lead to severe kidney damage. The nephrologist explained that the excessive intake of vitamin D likely led to hypercalcemia, which was the primary cause of her renal dysfunction. Further tests were conducted to confirm these levels of calcium and vitamin D in her system, solidifying the connection between her excessive supplement intake and her kidney health issues. This revelation was pivotal, as it directed the course of her treatment and emphasize the importance of managing vitamin intake carefully, even when the supplements are generally perceived as safe. The critical turning point in her condition occurred when she began experiencing more severe symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, and an inability to keep food down. Her fatigue escalated to the point where she could barely get out of bed. Concerned by these severe symptoms and the results of her kidney function tests, her nephrologist urgently recommended hospitalization for immediate and intensive care. Upon admission, further assessments revealed that her kidneys were failing at an alarming rate, necessitating immediate intervention to prevent permanent damage. This hospitalization marked a grave escalation in her health crisis, underscoring the severity of her condition and the immediate need for specialized medical treatment to manage her symptoms and halt the progression of kidney damage. The excessive intake of vitamin D in this case led to kidney damage through a process known as hypercalcemia, where too much calcium builds up in the bloodstream. Normally, 
Vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium from the diet, which is crucial for bone health. However, when taken in excessive amounts, vitamin D causes the body to absorb more calcium than it can handle. This excess calcium not only deposits in the bones, but also in the blood. When there is too much calcium in the blood, the kidneys have to work harder to filter it out. Over time, this excessive workload can damage the delicate filtering structures within the kidneys. In her case, the prolonged exposure to high calcium levels led to significant strain and eventual damage to her kidney functions. This condition not only disrupts the normal function of the kidneys, but can also affect other areas of the body, highlighting the importance of balanced and regulated supplement intake. Upon her hospitalization, emergency measures were quickly implemented to stabilize her condition and address the acute kidney damage caused by hypercalcemia. The primary goal was to lower the dangerously high calcium levels in her blood, which were directly impacting her kidney function. She was administered intravenous fluids aggressively to hydrate her body and help flush out the excess calcium. Additionally, medications that help inhibit the body's absorption of calcium and promote its excretion were given. Diuretics were also used to increase urine production, further aiding in the removal of excess calcium from her bloodstream. In some severe cases, dialysis may be required temporarily to help the kidneys filter and clean the blood while they recover from the damage. In her case, the medical team closely monitored her kidney function and calcium levels to determine if dialysis was necessary. These emergency interventions were critical in managing her immediate life-threatening conditions and preventing long-term kidney failure. The long-term recovery process for the woman involved both medical treatment and significant lifestyle adjustments to ensure her kidneys could heal and to prevent future damage. After stabilizing her condition, her medical team developed a recovery plan that included regular monitoring of her kidney function and calcium levels to ensure that both remained within a healthy range. She was advised to significantly moderate her intake of vitamin D and other supplements, adhering strictly to recommended dosages. A nutritionist worked with her to adjust her diet, reducing foods high in calcium and vitamin D, which could exacerbate her condition. This dietary management was crucial in maintaining balanced calcium levels in her body. Additionally, she engaged in regular consultations with her healthcare providers to track her recovery and adjust treatments as needed. This included routine blood tests and follow-up appointments with her nephrologist. The focus was also on improving her overall health and preventing other potential health issues through a balanced diet, moderate exercise, and stress management techniques. The recovery process was a gradual journey that required her to be vigilant about her health, making informed choices to support her kidney function and overall well-being. After her recovery, the woman profoundly changed her approach to supplements and her overall lifestyle. Having experienced the severe consequences of excessive vitamin intake, she became much more cautious about using any supplements. She decided to rely primarily on obtaining her nutrients from a balanced diet, consulting with her healthcare provider before starting any new supplement. Her lifestyle adjustments included not just changes to her diet, but also incorporating regular exercise and stress management routines to enhance her overall health. She began educating herself about the ingredients and potential effects of over-the-counter products advocating for more awareness about the risks associated with unregulated supplement use. This experience taught her the importance of moderation and the need for professional guidance when making health-related decisions, principles she applied not only to her health regime but also shared with her community to promote safer health practices. For viewers considering or currently using vitamin supplements, it's crucial to practice safe consumption and seek professional medical advice. Vitamins can be beneficial for health, but should be used judiciously. Always consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen, particularly if you have pre-existing health conditions or are taking other medications that could interact with supplements. 
It's essential to stick to the recommended dosages and be wary of the all-too-common thought that more is better. Overconsumption of any supplement can lead to severe side effects, as seen in the case we discussed. Be vigilant for any unusual symptoms that arise after starting a new supplement, such as fatigue, pain, or changes in your digestive or urinary habits, and report these to your doctor. Moreover, educate yourself on the signs that might indicate a problem, such as excessive fatigue, sudden weight loss, or persistent pain, and seek immediate medical attention if you experience any of these symptoms. Health management is a collaborative effort between you and your healthcare providers, so keep them informed and involved in your health decisions. Today, we shared the alarming story of a woman who suffered significant kidney damage from taking a common vitamin supplement far above the recommended dosage. Her experience underscores the potential dangers of self-prescribing supplements and the critical importance of adhering to medical guidance. The key lessons from this story are the importance of moderation, the necessity of consulting healthcare professionals before beginning any new supplement, and the awareness of how our bodies react to new treatments. Always remember, supplements can benefit health when used correctly, but they can also pose risks if not managed properly. We urge you to consult with healthcare providers before starting any new supplement regimen, Take control of your health by staying informed and always advocate for yourself in medical situations. Remember, the right information and a cautious approach can make a significant difference in your health outcomes. Take care, stay safe, and always prioritize your health by making informed decisions. We'd love to hear from you. If you have thoughts on today's topic or similar experiences with supplements, please share them in the comments below. Your stories and insights can help others become more aware and make safer health choices. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more insightful stories and health tips. Join our community to continue learning about important health matters that could significantly impact your life. We're here to provide you with valuable information and support you on your journey to better health.